you'll see it pop up on the screen behind me. If you're not, I will describe it. Every single week, we update something we call the Bryceometer. It is a simple confidence level in Bryce Young. When you draft someone number one overall, how confident the fan base is in that player pretty much drives all conversation around your, your franchise. So when it comes to Bryce Young and the Carolina Panthers, we have never been as confident as we are today. We have bumped it up a full slice from that's my quarterback up to Bryce of America Stadium. BOA Stadium, Bryce of America Stadium. This is uncharted territory. This is as high as we have been in our confidence level for Bryce Young. And partially because even though it is a very, very imperfect measurement of a quarterback, wins and losses do matter when it comes to how confident you are in a quarterback. And a win goes a long way. Also, not just that, it's a game-winning drive. It's a game-winning drive. It's a fourth-quarter comeback. It's it's a field goal as time expires. It's it's so much of that whole you can't measure it thing that comes with a quarterback's evaluation. I mean, even the best talent evaluators on the planet, right? The guys that you know aided in Belichick drafting Brady in the sixth round. The guys that were so confident in uh, this quarterback or that qu- quarterback that goes on to be a Hall of Famer. Right, Even the best evaluators will look at you and say, during the valuation process, you can measure uh, processing ability, how quickly can they get through reads, you can measure arm strength, uh, speed, accuracy, body type, strength, do it all. You can talk to their middle school teachers and their the, the, the janitorial staff at their college, you can talk to their parents, their best friends, you can talk to everybody but you'll very rarely have anyone ever tell you that they know how a player is going to react when the game is on the line and the ball is on their hands, in their hands. Bryce Young did enough to win the game. One full slice of the Bryceometer up, the most confident we've ever been in him. Let's let's look at the whys, right? Now that we know we're more confident in him, let's look at the whys. I've said long ago, that the game where he has two plays, or two completions, pass plays, over 30 yards and doesn't turn the ball over at all, I will be a very happy person on a Monday. Well, guess what? For the first time this year, two pass plays over 30 yards and no turnovers for Bryce Young. 31-yard pass to Adam Thielen, which was wildly impressive, even if Chuba Hubbard may have just tackled the guy uh, that was about to get a sack. Uh, Jonathan Mingo caught a 40-yarder, and Bryce Young didn't turn the ball over. Those are three things that I said, right? This, this is part of accountability. I said a long time ago, if he does those three things, if he does those three things, I will be happy on Monday. I will be praising him on Monday. Well, that Monday has come. I am happy, and I am praising him. Frank Reich in the post game talking about Bryce Young's performance. We'll get that from Dennis as soon as he – there we go. Here it comes. I just think he was in good rhythm. I, I thought in the first half we did a good job in some of our play actions, getting the ball down the field, and he just felt – you could just tell he was comfortable making the plays. It was good to see Mingo get going a little bit, you know, on a few catches. So there were I thought there were ones he hit in rhythm like that one to Mingo, and then there's other times I just said, Mike, he's getting out of the pocket and making a play. Those are all things that we know that – we're going to see on a week-to-week basis. Let's be clear on a few things. My Bryceometer is moving in the correct direction. That doesn't really change my opinion on the Panthers as a whole. Different conversation. I still think, and I, and I say this often, Bryce Young looked like a good quarterback on a bad team. Do you know how many non-Bryce Young rushing yards Carolina had? Not many. 33. Okay. <laughs> 33. Not what you're hoping for. That would be not many. The prote- yeah, True. The protection was not good. Entering Sunday, the Texans were dead last in the league with nine sacks. Their pass rush was dead last in the league with nine sacks. Bryce Young was sacked six times on Sunday. They had two-thirds of their season total on Sunday. And it could have been ten. A few times, Bryce Young escaped, including the 31-yarder the to, to Thielen. 
a few times he made plays that prevented sacks that for a, a you know a lesser athlete may have been a sack. You right? if you had Andy Dalton sitting back there. You want to know my favorite stat of the entire game? My favorite stat of this entire game. Three tipped passes for C.J. Stroud. The guy that was drafted one pick after Bryce Young. The guy that was the prototypical passer. 6'3", 215, laser rocket arm. Throws it better than anyone. All of that, three passes tipped at the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, 5'10", undersized. What is he going to measure at the combine? Is he the smallest first-round drafted quarterback in the history of the NFL? Small guy Bryce Young. Mighty Bryce Young. Zero passes tipped at the line of scrimmage. So, again, just to be clear, when we're looking at the big three of the draft, the one that was 6'4", 6'5", 240 pounds of Adonis is out for the year with an injury and missed time for three separate injuries. And the 6'3 pocket passer that was the traditional build passes being batted down at the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, 5'10", 190 pound Bryce Young still in the in the game. He did miss a game with an injury, but we've talked about that enough that you know where my I stand on that. And not having passes tipped at the line of scrimmage. Yes, this is how the confidence level grows. This is how the Bryceometer moves in the right direction. You do a whole bunch of the little things that we knew you had within you from your, your draft prospect profile, right? The throwing on the move, the incredible ball placement, the knowing where to go with the ball, all of those things, which, by the way, he was even better because there were a bunch of drops. There, there were a couple passes that at should, least have, three. should have been big plays that were dropped, and I'm mostly looking at DJ Chark for the one. Uh, yes. So, so Bryce Young did the things that we expected of him. Meanwhile, is continuing to answer some of the concerns we had with him. Right? Can he, at his size, navigate a, a pocket in the NFL and not have his balls tipped? He's he's been doing that. Can he stay healthy? I know it's very early and it's ridiculous to take a victory lap on that particular subject at the moment, but hey, so far better than Anthony Richardson, to say the least. <laughs> And then he didn't turn the ball over. He had two passes over 30 yards, the 40-yarder being the furthest of his career, and he led a game-winning drive at the end of the game with poise. Like, p- part of part of the – because this wasn't a – you get the ball with 80 seconds on the clock, you're down four, and you know you need to get a touchdown, and it's just a, a, you know, a, a hectic fire drill where it's on the ball, on the ball, let's go, let's go, and you're doing everything as quick as you can. It wasn't that. It was, hey, listen, we have six minutes and 17 seconds. We're down one, only need a field goal. We're on our own nine-yard line. So I need you to be aware of the clock constantly. I need you to know down and distance. I need you to know personnel. I need you to know everything going on in the field at any point in time, but don't rush. I need you to be in complete poise, control, ice in your veins, but make sure it doesn't get hectic out there. Yeah. Right? If you need to correct something, correct something. Use all the play clock if you need to. Make sure there's no confusions. The The only thing we can't afford right now is a turnover, so be safe, be calm, be cool, be collected. And that's exactly what he did. Awareness. I, I think we've heard of that as something that a quarterback needs. Poise. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's often listed as something that a quarterback needs. The big play when the play needs to be made. I think that's something that we've heard a quarterback needs. You're not going to be perfect. You're going to make a lot of mistakes, right? The, one of my favorite things to remind everybody is if you go look at the all-time touchdown passes list, it's a lot of the same names that are, names that are on the all-time interceptions list. If you play long enough in this league, you're going to have hopefully more good games than bad, but you're going to have your fair share of both. You're going to have your bad first quarters that lead to good second halves. You're going to have your, your bad games that you save with one drive at the end. Bryce Young looked like he had a little bit of that, and that's why we're up to BOA Stadium on the Bryceometer. Bryce of America Stadium, everybody.